good morning. It's a lovely Sunday morning and I've got a channel announcement to make and I've got a mail call to show you. Got the mail call a couple weeks ago and I've been waiting for the right opportunity to show you and I think this is it. Uh, first, let me say thank you um, to my subscribers and uh, long time subscribers, guys. I almost quit YouTube this year. Uh, I, I almost, I say I'm gonna quit every time I make a video, but seriously, I, I wanted to quit. I wanted to quit everything this past year. Um, and when I say everything, I mean everything. It's been the uh, roughest year of my life. And uh, two weeks from now, this is August 15th that I'm recording this. Two weeks from now, on August 27th, my house was hit hard by Hurricane Laura. A lot of holes put in my house, wall knocked down, holes in the roof, everything damaged. All right. One week from now, we'll make 11 months since my wife passed away, suddenly and unexpectedly. So three weeks after the hurricane, my wife passed away. I'd been married 21 years. It would have been 22 this past June. And um, left me with a senior in high, well, a senior in high school and a kid that was an eighth grader. One just started ninth grade and the other will start her freshman year of college uh, real soon. Anyway, so that was rough. Two weeks after she passed away, another hurricane came and put 12 inches of water into my home and uh, through the holes that the first hurricane left. So I lost a house and a spouse in five weeks. And um, it was really rough, really rough. And a lot of YouTubers gave a lot of support and Ugly Drum Smokers Texas and UDS Parts, they did a raffle thing that helped me out and I, I appreciate that. And a lot of y'all have showed me love. My channel's changed a lot since, since then. But making videos on YouTube um, has really helped me. Um, cooking has really helped me. I, I gotta say, uh, you know, uh, Jim Cooper over at um, Toss Tin Man Cooking, you know, he helped me a lot. He helped me more than he, he realizes because, uh, you know, he lost his wife. And he said, you know, making the videos helped him. And I got back into making videos a month or two after she passed away. And um, anyway, it, it's given me an outlet to get through this grief, this depression that I've had. And um, a smile and a light doing it, you know. Things are looking up, you know. I am looking forward. I am. I am looking forward. It's fun to turn around and uh, walk backwards, you know. It's fun to turn around and walk backwards for a few feet, but you can't keep doing that for a few miles. So I can't keep looking at where I've been. i got to turn around and look at where I'm going. I am. And to be honest, you know, I've started dating again. I met a wonderful lady who gave me this cool Louisiana hat, by the way. I I'm enjoying life again, and I went to the doctor the other day. I've gained 30 pounds since she passed away. 30 pounds. I'm already Big Lou. Now I'm much bigger Lou. But I'm promising you, I'm going to be a little bit less Big Lou. All right? I uh, start to diet today. I fried a bunch of food last night. Said, this is it. That's it. Getting that done. Today, fried. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do some exercise. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm going to eat better. Uh -huh. Like cantaloupe for breakfast. Now, next part. Benevolent subscriber. I call him the Benny Sub sometimes. I, I, I call him Benny Sub, benevolent subscriber, so that I keep Gregor's name anonymous so that you won't know it was Gregor that sent me this stuff. He treats my channel really well. I don't know why he treats my channel really well, but he likes my channel, and uh, he's been so supportive, too, and I just got to thank him. Now, a few years ago, he gave me a silver stag knife, and you want to see that unboxing video? I'll have it right about there in the iCard, okay, of a silver stag shelf knife. You've seen it on my... um channel before, I use it all the time, all right? Love the Silver Stag knife. Well, he sent me another one now, all right? They come in a box like this. This one comes with a sheath, y'all. Yep, that one's in a leather sheath. That chef knife didn't have a scabbard or a sheath or anything. I just keep it in the box. But I won't have to keep this one in the box because it's got a leather sheath, all right? And no, it's shaped a lot like a fillet knife, all right? Um, it's for kitchen prep work and stuff. But uh, somebody on a review said they've skinned deer and stuff with it. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, no, and now it's a little stiffer than a fillet knife, but I could get a fish fillet. And since I'm going on a diet and I've got a pond back yonder full of fish that I have not fished since my wife passed away, I'm gonna get all that grass cut back there and go back there and start fishing. 
I'll have some fish to fillet. All right, look at that silver stag right there. Yo, know, can you see that? That is nice. Now look at the other side. Look at the other side. Look at the other side. Now I haven't cut anything with it, but that that's sharp. That's sharp. I'm gonna show you me cutting something with it here in a minute. My healthy breakfast. We're gonna cut up a cantaloupe with it here in just a moment. All right. The other thing he sent me. He sent me some shirts. All right. Now um, look right there. That dog and a handprint. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. By the way, shirt's a little tight. It's gonna fit better. Promise, it's gonna fit better. All right. Um, he sent me two other shirts. This, these shirts are from the um, first 508th Airborne channel. The guy used to jump out of airplanes. Uh, you know, perfectly good airplanes that weren't you know crashing or something because he was in 82nd Airborne. Tough, tough dude, all right, from up in Minnesota. And he trains dogs. He raises different breeds. He's working on a shepherd breed right now and um, or develops breeds or whatever. Uh, I could learn how to train dogs. I got two labs and I got a Shih Tzu and, you know, I learned some. I love dogs. I love this handprint design he has. I'd never heard of the channel. Gregor sent me the uh, shirts. I've been taking some time to check it out, uh, like a lot of the things he does. And maybe I learn how to train dogs. He also fit this guy and does a lot of fitness training and I don't think I'm gonna do all that hammer swinging and stuff he does. I think I'll just stick to maybe some bike riding and disc golf to learn lose some weight because you know that's me but uh you know I don't need to be all that fit and he sent that was one so he sent the gray one same thing as this purple one sent this one too this one is really cool look at that all right He's, in, he's from Minnesota, so being from Minnesota, I'm assuming he's got some Scandinavian heritage. He's really into Norse mythology, which also tells me, you know, that might be why he's into Scandinavian, uh, the, it might have Scandinavian heritage. I don't know. Anyway, cool guy, vet, you know, paratrooper, uh, 82nd Airborne, got to respect that. And, um, you know, hey, uh, this shirt's made out of a different material. It's really, really nice. It's uh, 3X, supposed to be my size, but it's a little tight on me. This was not all, all that loose either, but I'll tell you what, give me 60 days. Give me 60 days, Gregor, and I'll be fitting in this shirt. Promise, 60 days, I'll be fitting in this shirt, okay? And got this shirt too. I don't know if this comes from the same guy or if it's a different thing. Got that little logo on it. In the back it says, uh, grill pimp, sexual slave owner for, you know, grills, whatever. You know, grill pimp, hey, anyway, uh, it fits too. This one fits actually probably better than the other, uh, the other three and but this one fits i've been wearing wearing the, this one and the gray one and um i tell you what I, I really like these shirts anyway um hey benny sub thank you man this is nice this is a nice knife now let's go cut up my healthy cantaloupe breakfast because i'm gonna lose some weight thanks for watching big lou barbecue okay there's probably quite a bit of background noise so i, pro I apologize for any audio issues um, until my house is fully repaired, that's the way it's going to be. That's why I don't do as much taste testing in the kitchen anymore. Uh, it comes not only with the scabbard, or not the scabbard, the uh, sheath rather, but it comes with this little piece of deer antler here so that um, you can display it. And, uh, you know, their knives are very much collector quality. But if you go to their website, it says our knives are built to be used. And so I thought about not using it, but you know what? I'm going to use it. I enjoy using the... Um, ranch knife from silver stag uh that the benny sub sent me a few years ago and i'm gonna enjoy using this so let's test it out on my new healthy breakfast this morning cantaloupe all right let's just go look at that just cuts through there like butter guys man look 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 just well it's stuck there right there on the root there it goes look at that look at that look at that Cut it again. All right. Look at that, look at that. Cut out the seeds, the heart, the core, the whatever you call it. And now, let's see if we can now fillet this off the, uh, off the rind real well. Look, at this is a, wow. It's not as flexible as uh, um, my other fish fillet knives, but I could get a fish fillet with this. I sure could. All right, man, oh man, oh man, look at that. I'm trying to uh, go in slow because I'm trying to keep as much of the cantaloupe flesh and get as little of the rind as possible. But I mean, I think it did a, you know, did a fantastic job. Just slice that off of there. All right, well, 
No eggs, grits and tasso gravy, sausage and bacon for me this morning. That's my breakfast. Hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Um, hey, Benny Sub, this is nice. Thank you so much. And uh, to all my subs, thank y'all. Y'all are going to be seeing a little bit less Big Lou, but I'll still be making just as many videos. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.